Do you want to know which parts you need to upgrade your AK-787 or 917 to dual motor, dual ESC? Let's see, shall we? Hello, you beautiful peeps. My name's John. Welcome to my channel. So here are the parts that Larlo have sent to me for the dual motor conversion. Uh, you obviously have the ESC and the second motor. Please, I cannot stress this enough, your motor and your ESC have to be identical to each other. You cannot run different types of ESCs and different types of motors. You will blow everything up. This is the actual uh, motor mount bracket with some, uh, this servo mounting, I believe this one is here, and some straps for the two batteries either side. You have two pinions here, obviously if you fit dual motors you're going to need two pinions so they are there and i believe this is the speed spur gear that's connected to the uh, main drive shaft so we'll be swapping that across as well you're going to need two batteries but they can be 2s 3s whatever milliamp hours you decide um, this is identical to the 2s one that they sent in the original kit so i'll be using that but i will be testing the 3s as well and then depending on the speed of the thing I may increase to 4S on 2AS ESCs. And they've been kind enough to send a gyro. This can be fitted to any of the Lalo cars. And I was a little bit concerned. Why have they included a gyro? Is it gonna be that chaotic to drive? And I believe it could be, but you know, we will find out together. So what I need to do is unpack all of these and we'll see how it goes together. This is gonna be a two part video, potentially a three part video. This will just put together what we can, and then the next video will be installing this into the car, but I don't know how long that's gonna take, so I may split that up into two videos. Okay, here I've unpacked the bits and bobs that we need, the various bits we need. Uh, obviously, this is all the bits for the gyro, so I am gonna keep those safe over there. All of these will go through in a second. Now, <clears throat> this is the spur gear, so this is what's connected to the drive shaft. And then these are the two pinion gears for each motor. Now, for some reason, I assumed that the second motor needed to go in reverse. Because in my head, I'm thinking they're both doing that turning. But trust me, they don't go in reverse. They go in the same direction. So this one goes, let's say, for example, in that direction. So get that to go in that direction. This one must go in this direction. Great drawing, John. Okay, so that goes that direction, that goes that direction. So if that's going in that direction, then this one must go in this direction. And as you can see, it then means that both of them are the same. So none of the reverse malarkey that I had in my head for some reason. I don't know why I did, but we'll move on, ladies and gents. So here we have the, um, mo uh, the ESC and the motor. I will put those over there for now and just see what's in this big pack here. There's obviously the mount there big stickers oh, there's a lot more bits and bobs i was hoping for i'll be honest with you uh, this one will slide in like so and so they can't go in the wrong way by the looks of it no they can't so we are going to have to see which way the bearing goes in. I believe the bearing goes in from that direction, so it will have to go like that if that was the rear of the car. But again, we're going to have to look into it. These bits here are for the, uh, the location of the servo. Now, I did keep this out because I wanted to make sure I was doing it right. So as you can see, front of the car here, rear there, this mounts servo goes across and then is mounted there. That's across the top deck. Why do we need to, right, okay. I don't know why we need two of those, but we will find out. So if I get the actual car itself, you can see that you've got these uh, mounting points on both sides and the battery obviously on the, on the inside just to stop the battery sliding back and forth and the batteries are held through these straps here. This isn't on the AK-917 chassis, so you are in fact gonna have to swap the chassis as well if you want to do this upgrade on the AK-917. So that's what they are for, so that's fine. Look at all these screws, oh man. Uh, that's probably, hmm, what are these for the batteries? 
I think those are for the batteries as well. So obviously all of this, before it gets fitted into the car, I am gonna verify where everything goes. So um, this is where the drive shaft and the uh, mm -mm, spur gear are gonna be. No, sorry, it'll be that side. If this is the back of the car, it will be like that. And then we're gonna have the motor fitted there. And then the other one will be on the other side. And as you can see, that's how it all goes together. But please, once again, I cannot stress it enough. Make sure that the kit that you buy has the correct motor and the correct ESC. If that's wrong or that's wrong, there's going to be an imbalance in the voltages and whatnot. And you're going to end up pretty much frying one or both of your motors and ESC. So please make sure that you do that right. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to attempt to fit this now because I'm not ready to take those bits out and do it all at the same time. So that will be on the next video. I just wanted to show you guys what you needed if you wanted to get that ordered now so that it's on its way. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to catch you next time. Take care, stay safe. Bye bye.